Ah. Hello everyone, welcome to Night Blights, an indie horror game, and we are on part 4, and this is Thursday, and we are continuing where we left off. Anyways, I already read this in the last part, if you missed that, we are doing Thursday, let's get into it. Little, little night blades. The only thing I dislike is that I have to change the brightness every... Woo. Every single time. Brightness! Whoop. That reminds me, actually. I remember in the last part, you remind me of the babe. Why are they flirting with me? I had to turn up the volume for this. Not turn down, but turn up. So, wait, I can't remember the shit. Wait, I didn't. I. Oh no. I um. <clears throat> I can't remember the tips that they leave for me. In the book. It was a. Oh, shit. I, I I need a stool. I need a stool. I... It's potted plant. It's a potted plant. The toilet was yesterday. So what's in here? Maybe it'll remind me. I think it was in this potted plant. I think I'm gonna go back to main menu and redo this. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Let's see. They will easier while setting up traps. You'll hear the fear. Should that place be wandering around? Try heading with care and avoid being found. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to prevent them, so there's one that would be in that office plant, probably in the right side, and then one in the door, and I think they're trying to tell me just don't go near them and avoid the areas they're at, but I'm not sure if I'm meant to spook them away or give the one in the plant food or anything. Alright, let's redo this. I'm sorry about that. Didn't miss anything. It's all randomly generated anyways. When I say randomly generated, I don't mean the level, but their tactics are random. The baby crying at the start may not happen again. It may happen again. It's all quite unpredictable, you see. Yes, quite. Stay in there. Alright, so we're gonna survive all the nights. I wanna get this down. It's found it weird. I mean, I think the game got a surge of popularity because Markiplier played it, but then... He only played one episode. I'm not sure how many nights he did. Probably just one. I didn't watch his. Um, well, but, uh, it's a little bit of a shame they only did one level. He'll probably continue if people nag him to do it, but, yeah, there you are. But, I heard you. I'm not, sp I'm under the chair. Uh, I'm not specifically sure how I'm meant to survive this one, and Mark Blair wise I'm not... I'm... My toy. Free toy! I haven't gone downstairs. That one's below. This one's here. What? Painting fell down? Anyways, I gotta make sure... Jesus. Shit's falling over around me. Whoa, what the f fuck? Okay, one's definitely running around the fucking house, because they just put a little plush of themselves right behind me. Oh, wow, that fucking got me pretty good. Not like screamy, screamy good, of course, but that was good. Like, I was not expecting that, like... And they're hungry again. I've been running. Really? You're hungry too? And the one upstairs is hungry? Maybe the one upstairs is hungry? Fuck me. It's gonna be difficult on these levels. I don't wanna run too much. Cause like last episode, I just completely died. Is one in here saying hungry? <clears throat> Uh. Whoa. 
Who turned off the fucking lights? Okay, now they're they're getting serious. Real fucking serious. Can I get the toy around here? Yes. Lights back on, that's good. I'm not sure, this one might be hungry again. No. No. Is that the toilet? Yep. Whoa! Shit. It's fully open. I'm dead. It's not flushing. Oh, okay. It left another one. I should be dead. The toilet's fully open, but I didn't hear it at all. I swear I'm dead. Or oh, they're just fucking with me. What is this even? Oh man, I am so fucked. Whoa, God! Damn it! Once a nightlight is free from the fireplace, toilet, or garage, listen out for it as it can hide. And then gibberish. I'm gonna have to turn it up, unfortunately, even though it can get loud with during those just screams, but... Whew. I forgot to put on my timer again, as fucking usual. I'm gonna try this again. Um, I wish I knew what time there I have is on. Brightness, again. Whoop. Yeah, that's fine. I gotta be able to fucking see. So anyways, the one in the toilet clearly... No! Clearly got out and then just hid in the freaking uh, bathroom. Because uh, the toilet lid was open unless in this level they don't come from the toilet anymore. Let me double check like right now to make sure. I would think all of them. Yep, the toilet is closed. But I didn't hear it. Anyone of them. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. Good fucking timing. As well, I don't know how to combat the ones in this office room yet. I swear maybe they were saying hungry in there, but I didn't die from the ones in the office, so maybe just nothing happened yet. Stay closed. You're closed. You should be fine. I swear I'm seeing... God damn it. Let me get this one first. Baby shouldn't die if I just walk slowly. I gotta conserve my sprint as well. Uh, beyond that, conversation wise. Whoa! <laughs> Hiding under the crib? Wow, okay. I didn't know there was a hole under the crib. Jesus. I just saw eyes there. I was like, oh, hello. Yeah. So, how am I supposed to combat them? It's like, it's like the one at the door right there. I mean, they're just peeking their eyes there. So let's see. Should you see Nightblades wandering around, try heading with care and avoid being found. Does that mean I shouldn't run? If their presence is known, you should keep well away. How am I supposed to keep away? The baby was crying. As they quickly get bored when they can't find their prey. I can tell, like, they start toying around. Like, they put freaking toy plushies of themselves behind you, which is kind of funny. I'm not sure why these things had to be so evil if they can be somewhat adorable. See, look, what? Oh, it's it's a drape sort of thing. It's a soft material, not just a solid wooden base. Alright. They're just peeking out there. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that guy. Not at all. Toy here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to beat this, but... Uh, I'll keep quiet for now and skip ahead until I get some progress. Jesus. That opened way too much. 
But yeah, okay. The one downstairs is crying. Or hungry. I will... That's downstairs. I'll skip ahead. God, I fucking heard a bang underneath me. Jesus Christ, that startled me. Okay, you're hungry. Where the fuck is a toy? Fuck me. I don't like turning my back when I just went in the room. Makes me paranoid. Get up on the couch! Oh, fuck. Don't tell me you're gonna kill me already. He was close to coming the fuck up. Okay, this is getting hard. I, this is the difficulty ramped up a shitload. Like, this is... I, I don't know what to say. Nope. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to skip ahead. I mean, to be honest, I mean, uh, this will be my last try, depending on how much time I have. But, I don't think, I don't think I need to, oh, fuck, stool, fucking, what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't need to skip ahead because there's so many things going on, you're not going to really miss anything. Everything is fucking on point. Things are always happening. So if I skip ahead, a lot of things would be missed. Like, scary things, me dying. I gotta go back downstairs. Stop. I'm gonna probably die again. Thursday is fucking hard. Oh my god. Hungry again. Gotta get downstairs to the fucking fireplace. Holy shit. Okay. Downstairs I go. Fireplace needs doing. No, it does not. Oh, hi up there. Uh, please stay the fuck outside. Okay. I might go over my time limit, but... It's just gonna have to happen. Because this shit's getting hard, and... I might as well not even skip anything, because... No, please. Yeah, I'm already fucked. I'll just stay away from it. And hope he doesn't just come out. It just means don't go near it. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh my god, I'm so boned already. I don't have a toy for him. Is there a toy up here? There's not. I'm, I'm fucked. Again. And I get spooked. There's no toys up here! Hey! Portal cube! The companion cube. Where's the fucking toys? They're all getting hungry. Where's all the toys? I can't find any! I'm seriously fucked! Let's jump on the fucking car, I guess. I'm gonna just stay way up here and see what the fuck happens. Oh. oh. S -s Sister died. If you hear growling, you need to fi feed a night blight with a toy. So I guess because they got hungry under the bed upstairs, it doesn't come after me, it comes after the sister who's sleeping in a bed. Though. I'm not sure. I've never looked on top of the bed to see if there's anyone sleeping in it or if it's empty. I always it looks like it's empty. But well, I I wasn't able to do anything this round. I'm going to have to this is going to be a point where I'm stuck. And the next episode will be when I actually beat Thursday. This will be just the fun of look how fucking hard this game is. Enjoy me getting spooked in my own way because I don't, you know, I don't flail around. But beyond all that, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. This has been very creepy, very difficult, and 
it's going to be definitely difficult to beat this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed, and until the next episode... Let's run! Oh, fuck off. We're breaking the fuck out of here. Uh-oh. Oh! We're under the light! People think that playing with no sound is... Nope. Nope, 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 nope.